play. Play is a very good emotion. It's a very healthy emotion. And there are some circumstances where it's possible for them to play. And that is when they're well fed, when they're healthy, and when they're more or less happy. Happy is a big word, of course. It's something that's not constant there. But happiness, sure. Um, but play definitely comes from happiness, from being well, satisfied. Here we see the, the youngsters, they all came from the swamp, several horses you can see on their legs that they have been wet, that they have been in the swamp. And now we're getting some play. <coughs> the, the youngsters are very playful, the yearlings and the foals are much together, and it makes sense that the mares have to take care of themselves because there's daddy. Because the mares are having foals in their belly so they or suckling folds and at this group you can see uh, well several ages together some are a few months and some are a year like the the blonde mare at the back she's uh, one year of age and in front at the right you see her little brother um, standing next to her you can pretty well see that the families are related that, that the big boys and take care of their small sisters and the other way around which is I think very fascinating to see and it's so family related that they are so close together you see all kinds of things when you are um, observing you see them grooming you see them playing and at the right you see daddy and, and daddy is the one who surely plays he's gilded but still he's still male and males are far more playful compared to females, except that uh, when they're young, um, you know, the mare interferes. When they're young, they are, well, the play is more or less equal. Ooh, there's a small baby. <laughs> now let's see what happens. There's going to be a, a kick. But why does she kick? Well, this is why. Makes sense, doesn't it? So horses always kick for a reason. They don't kick out of aggression or whatever people might think or say. It's always a reason. Anyway, it's a nice gesture. And as soon as the play starts, uh, when they start to run, then everybody, it's very contagious that everybody starts to run. I had to uh, follow them to see where they were going. And here you see one of the male foals uh, going to mom. And mom is checking out what was bothering them. She didn't notice me, so I just came and she's... Uh, oh, you can almost hear her think, oh, it's that, that person we've seen before. And here you can see a very nice conversation between two horses with the faces to, to each other. The fall still breathing <laughs> because of the run. And mom is not convinced that it's uh, not exactly dangerous, but now she's getting more and more convinced. Okay, I'm going on, and she's bumping against her baby. But the baby is still uh, into play, so it's not yet over. Um, and mom says, no, I don't want to play, I don't want to play. Here you can see the baby bite in his mom and jump a little bit on her, bite in her legs. And she, all she does is just walk on and say, no, I'm not into play. <laughs> but the baby sure is jumping on mom. And the mothers are very, um, they forgive a lot. They just walk away. And this is something that, that um, many people think, ah, oh, but the mares are kicking and biting. No, they're not. No, he's playing a little bit <laughs> with his mom to get her on her knees. Mom is annoyed, she wants to eat. And so, I think this is a nice example to show that, that mares, even though many people think, uh, I hear it all the time, uh, mares are aggressive to foals. No, they're not. They're, they're and that's also the reason why foals should learn how to stay away from a mare and how to um, not jump on everybody. That's what they learn. Um, in, in this population, for instance, they learn this foal doesn't dare to do the same on a, on a strange mare, not because he's bitten or kicked or hurt or whatever, just because they don't dare. 
because the other mares are looking a little bit more angry. And that's enough to say no. Okay, hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.